Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Smith Linden from The Fresh Lindens. This is everything that I cleaned this week. So every time I had something to clean during the week, I would turn on the camera and record it. It's more of like a realistic, like what I cleaned, cleaning all week. I don't know, I don't know what you would call it, but I just thought maybe this would be like more relatable, a good idea. Um, Cause I think most of us don't just do all of our cleaning in one day. It's more like spread out throughout the week. Cause it's like maintenance cleaning, right? Um, so I do a lot of heavy cleaning on usually Mondays and Fridays and then kind of take it easier throughout the week doing things then like obviously the dishes those get done all the time a lot of vacuuming happens um, almost daily with the vacuuming and then um, same with like sweeping you know like that needs to be done wiping down the counters that needs to be done probably like two three times a day picking up all the toys five times a day um, but on in this case, the dishwasher wasn't working, so I had to wash every single dish that I'd stacked in the dishwasher from the Friday before, and then figure out what was wrong with the dishwasher. So I kind of took apart what I could, steamed it out, cleaned it, and thankfully I got it working again. Basically, there was like some plastic from um, like a food bag or something stuck in the that like blade looking thing that you see at the bottom of the dishwasher so it has small holes in it I think it blows water like up and onto the dishes and yeah there was like just like this huge long piece of plastic stuck in it and then in the there's another blade that's up on the stuck to the top shelf of the dishwasher and that had like what seemed to be like wet paper towel or like wet paper basically stuck in it so I got it all cleaned out and I got like a bunch of gunk out and I got it smelling good in there again and then the dishwasher ran a full cycle so it was not running a full cycle at all it would like literally stop after like 10 minutes and not run and I was basically hoping I'd be able to fix it <clears throat> obviously my father-in-law was hoping that too he didn't want to, have to buy a new dishwasher so thankfully I got it working again and we're good to go. But that's what I spent my Monday doing instead of doing a whole lot of heavy cleaning because I wanted to make sure like, even if um, I couldn't fix it and my father had my father not to take a look at it, at least it would be clean. So we knew like that wasn't what was causing it to not work. But I got so much food out of this thing. Like I said, it smelled and underneath like where the door connects right there to the, um, dishwasher like I like there was so much gunk like it was just it was it was bad it was definitely very bad definitely way overdue I think I've wiped it down like a couple times before on the inside but I've never steamed it and the, the steamer worked just so well for all the gunk so here I am just unscrewing um what I can see here I try not to do like it take apart too many things or else like I'm not gonna remember how it goes back together but this is pretty straightforward and easy so um I took this apart I pulled this out. It seemed like there's more of that like paper towel stuff and food stuck underneath this too. I don't know if this is the filter filter or not. I don't know where the filter is on this thing. I'm assuming this is it. But, like I've seen where people pull out their filters and like wash them from their dishwashers and like mine does not have that. It does not. <laughs> that's what I was trying to fit. That's what I thought. Maybe this, this on the door? No. Or this in here? No. It's not. But whatever, I pulled that piece off, I steamed out like a lot of this gunk, I gave it a good scrub, and then the dishwasher was working again, so I was pretty happy about that.
on. This is in the refrigerator door where the water comes out at. And I'd seen on TikTok where people are showing there's like a lot of mold and mildew and like just gross stuff around there. So I looked at ours and it was pretty looking pretty gross. So I decided to clean this and all I really did was just wipe it as good as I could with a towel with like shoving my hand up there. My husband was looking online to see like how do we clean this but like we couldn't really figure out how to like there's no piece that we can pull off to like clean it really good but I did take like a straw cleaner um, the like thing that you use to clean a straw and I did stick that up where the water the white part where the water comes out at and I didn't get any mildew or anything coming out of that so or any mold I mean so that was good but I wiped that down as good as I could I opened up the door to like see it pulled off that top part um, which you saw me do a minute ago to see like Basically that dispenses the ice down there and um, there wasn't much that needed to be clean, and clean there either So I have no idea how to clean that Moving on um, I did skip Tuesday, but that's because I didn't clean anything on Tuesday I wasn't feeling that great. My back was hurting so I just took it easy and um, pretty much figured out Why my laptop was acting up so crazy and would not let me upload a video like I totally had this week's video ready last week and it would not download wouldn't work I was pretty bummed um, but thankfully my sister helped me we got it figured out so moving on to Wednesday I'm gonna be shampooing the carpet because that's what really needs to be done so I'm just vacuuming in two different directions um, vacuuming the whole living area and then I'm gonna shampoo that and it is insane how much dirt comes out of this carpet like I'm still in shock I'm gonna probably do an experiment basically like every single day do like shampoo the carpet because I just cannot believe how much comes out especially like I, I shampooed the carpets last week and then I shampooed them again this week on this day and I still I'm like how is there this much dirt like my kids and I we're just at home and we're just barefoot we don't wear shoes in the house my husband doesn't wear shoes in the house um but I'd say my kids and I are the ones in this room the most you know or like the dog but still she's not gonna bring in that much dirt so that's everything I pulled out of the carpet by vacuuming which is still a ton of stuff and then you'll see um, all the just black water that comes out with the <laughs> it is just crazy listening to the video be sure you watch because in a second you're gonna see just the cheekiest little toddler here so he's looking back at me making sure I'm not looking and then he starts touching the camera he, he turned it and the thing that he touched made it so blurry so like where I was it was so blurry oh my gosh that cute little smile there he runs away so naughty I'm telling you but I got I saw that footage and I was just cracking up I showed it to my husband we're like oh he's so cute but he's so bad like and then Zeke's copying me right here and he's like mom I'm vacuuming too which totally cool um I he if he could actually hold the vacuum up properly and do it he, he probably would do it but anyways I'm just taking my time if there's any spot where like it just kept coming out brown I kept going over it right is what you're supposed to do um, so these corners I always pull out a lot of like soap and a lot of dirt for some reason um, I think because the corners around the edges of the wall have been like cleaned so many times that there's just I don't know it's just always stuck in there but I'm thinking about like I said do an experiment where I just do this every single day and seeing if the water gets any less 
dark or like just what is going on because I just have no clue like look at that it's disgusting and again I do this every week and this is why I do this every week because like I always get something like this like I always get just this dark dirty disgusting water and I vacuumed you saw everything that I vacuumed out of the carpet it's just insane to me that that much comes up I will say that this carpet shampooer works pretty well and it the carpet tends to dry pretty quickly like we're not walking around on crazy wet carpet for very long um, I don't really like having to shampoo it while the kids are awake running around on it like Zeke usually sits up on the couch and I was trying to get this done before you know woke up from this nap but he was having major sleep regression this week so getting him to even take a nap was just impossible and he like was not going to sleep like taking a nap until super late so anyways i got done with the floor and realized that they had made a mess um with food and stuff all over the couch so i'm just gonna vacuum that up really quick and i was so 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 tempted to start shampooing the couch right then but i was like i'm not doing that yet like i'm just not going to that takes way longer <laughs> to dry and it just I'm telling you, I did one of the cushions already and it's just brown after brown after brown after brown. Like it does not get clean. It does not stop. I literally had to stop myself because I'd been going at it for like probably like 30 minutes trying to pull all the dirt out of the cushion and it just was still coming out just brown. And I mean, it's satisfying, but it's like also not satisfying when it's not clean. Anyways, we're on Thursday. All I had during this time was just 30 minutes to get the kitchen well, to get like all the dishes done the kitchen counters wiped down and get um anything else i wanted to sweep but i didn't have time for that um i had 30 minutes before i had to leave the house to go pick up ezekiel from school and then he had a play date um right after school and i knew i wasn't gonna really like probably clean much by the time we got home later because it'd probably be around dinner time so um i went ahead and just got all this done in 30 minutes i did the dishes wiped down the sink and cleaned it because it had been a hot minute since I did that and um like I said wiped down the counters the counters get just so full of crumbs and things like that like it's 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 crazy I feel like I say that a lot everything's crazy but it's, it's just how quickly everything gets so messy you know <laughs> especially like my kids can't reach the counters so it's not them you know what I'm saying? It's not me because I clean it up because I don't want to have to be wiping it on the counters. Whatever, I'm going off now. Anyways, I got done everything that I could on Thursday and that's all the cleaning I did Thursday. moving on to Friday. Friday I had the most time to get the most cleaning done so um, I did laundry this day. I didn't want to let it pile up this time so I ended up washing it when I just had like one full laundry basket which ended up being about two loads of mine and Caleb's laundry and one load of the boys laundry. So I went ahead and just started working on all that laundry first because it takes longest. Actually I also had the dishwasher running at this time too because I had both those going because I felt pretty lazy because I put the load in and I started the dishwasher and then I felt like doing nothing for quite some time.
here's everything that I vacuumed up even though I just vacuumed and deep cleaned the carpets two days before this which, <laughs> which is just I gotta say it again guys it's crazy to me it's still crazy to me it blows my mind um got the trash ready to take out and I went to heat up my coffee and then I realized the microwave smelled bad so I pulled everything out of the microwave and gave it a wipe down instead um it needed to get cleaned anyways but I wasn't gonna do any like deep cleaning I just sprayed my Mrs. Myers cleaner in there wiped it down real quick so I'm just cleaning the counters and then I end up pulling everything off the stove so I can wash all that as well it wasn't super bad but I didn't like deep clean it the week before so I knew I was gonna like actually pull everything off to clean it this week Once I'm done with these dishes, that's it for Friday. I called it a day, started my weekend, everything was clean enough. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this style and be sure to stay fresh, my friends. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way.